Radhe Radhe Govinda Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda Govinda Radhe Shri Nilata Kusmanjani verse 32 When can I humbly and joyfully decorate your arms that are like very lovely lotus stems that are expert in destroying the patience in the swan-like intelligence of Murajan Krishna with armlets studded with various jewels or render any other service to you. When can I humbly and joyfully decorate your arms that are like lovely lotus stems, expert in destroying the patience and the swan-like intelligence of Muraji with armlets studded with various jewels or render you any other service. The loving maidservant serves Shri Radharani. <coughs> the services that are dear to the heart are externally manifest in these prayers. Shri Raghunath Das Goswami in Shri Man Mahaprabhu's mercy incarnation descending along with the Lord to give the world the perfect example of Bhajan. He and the other Goswamis are Raja's eternally perfect Manjans who have descended to earth as Mahaprabhu's beloved associates to teach the world the ways of Ajahn. Sri Mahaprabhu gave them that responsibility and there is no other shelter than their lotus feet. One must meditate on how Sulasi renders her devotional service. They are extraordinary maidservants who never descend from their maidservant seats. Lalita and Vishaka sometimes act as Krishna's naikas, heroines or amorous partners, but the kinkaris do not accept that position, even in their dreams. Although Manamanjari does no desire to be uh, close to Krishna, in any circle. Sri Vag Naika means acting like a girlfriend, mm. lover. But Manjari has never this asked for that. This is the leap of this like what Mahaprabhu do. This is the speciality. You can mention like you are doing difference between the Manjari and Sati, friends, and the dark self. What is the difference? This mind has to fix. Is there a is there a danger that we identify with Sakis instead of Manjans? That dangerous because my nature is not a fix, mm -hmm. and all behavior has to change like that. Is it more difficult to be Manjari than Saki? Yeah. Look like a salmon, but more difficult. One only boy is there, and I don't want to see him and not relate him. It's very difficult for the lady. Mm, such a beautiful boy. Best boy in mm. the world, who has all attraction, but you have no desire. And whole life I am thinking for this boy to be close and I have now not desire. This is very heavy, strong sadhana. 
อีกหน้าที่ที่จะมาปฏิเสธ the whole life to how to achieve t h i and now I not thinking to to think t h o e it's not difficult difficult well it's it's, diff- it's like it's difficult not to attach to the object of love Krishna uh, uh. to be m a n j u r i you cannot attach to one or the other uh. The object of love uh, by love, yeah, yes, Krishna. But object of love in Radha, but by her object was love. Object was Krishna. Uh-huh. So that love object we don't need to bother. Our object is love, but love object to achieve Krishna. Our object is love. But love has no object to achieve object of the love. This is what we were discussing yesterday at uh, Sangha. The Uttava Ujjali uh, at the very end. Not the Jal Rasa. Object, love without object. Ah, uh, uh, that's only uh, uh, love of object. We not interested, but I interested in my object, love. This is the. Gift of Chaitanya is special. You see, now you start this s u b j e c and this serious subject. Thousands of books are no, there. In this scripture, thousands of books are there, <laughs> and that is for research. One library you see is object. Uh, uh, object is uh, we do, but not love object. I uh, don't want to interest. Radhe Radhe. Sorry, sorry. Don't sit down. Begin eating now. <laughs> One must meditate on how t o l o s i renders her devotional service. Wow, these are extraordinary maid servants. We never descend from their maid servant seats. Yeah, they feel the p o i n La Vita and v i s a k a sometimes act as Krishna's naikas, uh, his amorous partners. But the Kinkaris do not accept that position even in their dreams, although in form and qualities. Underline this. Uh, in form and qualities, they are qualified to be Yuteshwaris. Yeah, their qualities are the same. And because of Radhika, all qualities of Radhika, mm. and the form is also beautiful. But desire is only with love, mm. not of object of the love. My goal is only love, not his object. My God, so difficult. So simple, but so difficult. Yes. When the practice time is very different. Yes, because we want to attach to something. Love, we uh, want some object to love. When love is there, I how to hold it mm. only for love. Mm. This is this is PhD. Huh? This is PhD. Yes, <laughs> that is us. Uh, the beautiful and how deep you go to realize it. And in this nowadays, no research going on. Means the Western world is empty with this ideas to to go deep in this subject. When little love comes, they want to find object for that to buy it or to huh? to buy it or grab it. Yes. Yes. Very nice subject. Very yes. nice. This is missing. This is nobody do try to reach it in the Western body. I see that only one person, m a n i t i s from he is the real American. I <laughs> say, I love him. Only person in Radha could I love he. I don't know why. Francis Das Babaji, 
I am not very convinced this thing, but he convinced me. He is an intellectual, he knows all the philosophy and he all lives and he is practicing this. He is a great personality. And Sunday he gives class. Many people don't like him, Western body. Reason behind that? Why not they like? Because this is the unique practice. This is the not talking. Without going, nobody can talk on that. I am also trying to live in this consciousness. But I feel very different. It's not easy. Talking is one thing and practicing is one thing. And practicing means really this also. This object, this point to practice. I don't see any question but and five percent or ten percent Indian but and he is the one who will do this. You can surprise this. So he is great master, great person for me. And he is the only person he will talk in English, other will not talk. Yeah. And he is very honest because he is American. This is the quality of American. They will do the wrong, they will say, I do wrong. Americans, other other person will not do. They don't bother to say right and wrong. Honest, they are honest. If they do mistake, you will say, "I hear, I do." He said, "People ask you initiated by Prabhupada." He said, "No, <laughs> no, by telephone. Honest, who also by telephone." They will say, yes, yes, I It's not true. It's so common. Not in any false thinking. So I love him. Honest, I say, I love because he do this like this. Objectless love. Objectless love. Living in love, but no desire to share it. Only with love. Mm. Only with love, not with the goal of love. No goal. Only live with love. Objectless love. Wow. Each line on these monjari's toes defeats the bright splendor of the lightning. They are cleverness personified. And although they are qualified to be Yuta Shwaris, Gopi group leaders, they have no taste for this at all. No. No one to be leader. No wants. No interest. Any position. Well, mm. Underline this. But honestly, these are the subjects for you, my dear. Yes. It's my, one of my favorites. Uh, because you are a researcher. This should be goal, and you have to write on this subject. Say me any one person who can do this, mm. not want to be leader. Everyone wants to be leader. Who don't like appreciation? Yeah, who doesn't care? Each line on these manjari's toes defeats the bright splendor of the lightning. They are cleverness personified. Clever. And although they are qualified to be Yuteshwaris, they have no taste for this at all. No at all. Underline this at all. Um, Underline? Yes. They are always immersed in the nectar ocean of Shri Radhika's service. Wow. Only in love. Only love. Love service. In a deep meaning. Hmm. Means only I serve you, serve that. No desire. If desire, any desire is coming, is not selfless. Hmm. 
Is it better to is it better to meditate on selfless love as being in the ocean rather than pointing at someone? Or so? This is Brahma. Green ocean is love ocean. Yeah. And pointing somewhere is Sakhi ocean. We I am living in the ocean of love and I pointed from that love to someone is a Sakhi bhav. I want to be in love and no pointing. What circumstances is coming, I am ready to serve. But I don't objects. want to be leader or history of someone, mm-hmm. controller, to teach someone. And the world is traveling to be a leader, to control, to be a group. Mm-hmm. Give this chance to them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My God! So they are clever, they would not want to leave the whole Mm. Ocean to leave that. And they are ready to leave the ocean of love for some goal. This practice has to day to day practice for our mm. in life. Both, yeah, difficult. Nowadays, many are asking what you need, what you need. I say, I am in ocean of love, what I need. Yes, again, I need goal for that. Mm. This is Sakhi Bhav. You see, here coming Sakhi Bhav. I have some desire from you. Why do you do that? Uh-huh. Now, I am in ocean of love. I want to serve you. That's it. Ocean of love means love. That is selfless love. We want this. And we soon want this. If you search, we are missing this. Every soul is this. Every selfless, the need for selfless, nobody's love. Every, every, every living being wants to be bold for some give and take. I give myself, I want to take some. They are clever, or who is clever? I am talking just details because this, I want to create this point in your research. But I don't have the solution. No, you have to. A solution comes is there. When we have a goal, this book is a wonderful book, I'm telling you. This will one by one will create the circumstances to research. And research means I have to practice for us to feel it. We have to change our reason to see that. What it is full reason is this. In dreams, wakefulness, or deep sleep, the light of Sri Radha's shimmering toenails shines in the Kinkari's hearts. Sri Radha Goswami says, I offer my obeisances unto your friendship. I only desire your devotional service. They are Manjari in name, Manjari in nature, Manjari in form. Manjari means bud, and the Manjaris are simply girls of a very tender youth, but in form, both in form and in nature. Buds never allow the bumblebee, Krishna, to enjoy them, to make them an object. Not to allow means not to disturb my feelings, even to him. And then he is so clever, he will try to find a way, but you have to be more clever to him that he cannot find because I am a bird. I have no honey. I am useless for you. Wait for blooming. <laughs> but I want to be a bird of me. That's just what he says. Buds, buds never allow the bumblebee to enjoy them. Yeah. Or they do increase the bees' thirst for blooming flowers. Yeah. That they accompany. Yeah. 
Only the researcher can understand this word. The material mind cannot understand. Before you are looking from the material eyes, <laughs> yeah. This is their supreme purity. Wow, of the mantra. Sri Rupa Mantri. Why we are chanting? To clean our blockages. To understand the deepest meaning of mm. divine words. By your grace, it honestly, this realization comes now to me. Mm. It's very strong, very important. Why come? Because of you. So many times I listen, but I know both so deep. Mm. Because we are in ocean of love, but no swimmer. <laughs> I got it to that to say, you are swimming, you bring me to realize it. Mm. It feels like mercy. This is mercy. Mm. Now, look one day, again, no <laughs> recover. Yeah. Shri Radhasa Goswami says, Rupa Manjari, you are reading from the yes. Shri Rupa Manjari is the bud, the Manjari, uh, of Shri Radha's form, Rupa. And Shri Rati is the bud of Shri Radha's love, Rati. Oh. Rupa is the form, Rupa means form, form. and Rati means love. love. Means mm. Rupa and Rati name is also the form and last mm. divine last and divine form. Tulasi serves Swamini with Prasanga Seva, making her <coughs> relish her own sweetness while putting her omelets on. Tulasi says, Do you know what your arms are like? Swami replies, No, tell me. Tulasi says, He who understands it has made me understand. Shyam is a good follower of yours. His swan like mind was enchanted by the sweetness of your golden lotus stem like arms, and it destroyed his patience. Swans are naturally fond of eating sweet lotus stems by the shores of ponds. Sometimes when you are proud and angry with him, Krishna will beg you for a festival of embraces. But you will wave your arms and say, No, no, you think I did not understand that? Even the patience of the victor of the Mur Mura demon will be destroyed by the beauty of your arms, and he will anxiously pray, My heart is breaking, give me some happiness. In this way, Tulasi maddens Swamini by reminding her of her lover with her Rasanga Seva. Wow. He's making mad to her. That you say, no, I'm not happy with that. Ah. Here Tulasi says, do you know what your arms are like? Swamini says, no, tell me. Tulasi says, he who understands it has made me understand. Shyama is a good follower of yours. His swan-like mind was enchanted by the sweetness of your golden lotus stem-like arms, and it destroyed his patience. Sometimes when you are proud and angry with him, Krishna will beg you for a festival of embraces, that you will wave your arms and say, No, no. You think I didn't understand that? Even, of the, even the patience of the victor of the Mura demon 
will be destroyed by the beauty of your arms, and he will anxiously pray, My heart is breaking, give me some happiness. Well, it's breaking heart. You know why you say no? So he makes her angry, so she'll wave her arms. And, <laughs> <you can see laughs> that. and uh, she is breaking heart. Yeah, with the arms. Because you know you Rati, you know use your lusty desire, mm -hmm. you know use me. <laughs> what do you say? You give me Rati name, but you don't use me that. No, with your arms that you give up. No, no. What my service is not going on. How wonderfully the truth hums through this Rasika verse. Mm -hmm. The beauty of your arms destroys the patience of Murajiya Krishna's swan-like intelligence. Your intelligence is gone. Yeah. Because you say not in nervous. Mm -hmm. And I am also my heart break. Why you say no? Mm -hmm. So Rati is creating Rati is not by the word mati in the verse, murajaya mati hamsi darya iram sadaksham, the word mati in the text means that intelligence, mind, not even mind, that is intelligence. That determines the truth. That intelligence that determines the truth. Only the beautiful arms of Sri Mati can destroy that great intelligence. <laughs> that shows how great Sri Mati's love for him is. For it is her love that makes her so beautiful. You see, the Rati Manjari love for my Radhika. How she is very great. In Chaitanya Charitamrita Adilila, we read, Krishna says, I am the abode of transcendental flavors. I am the fully ecstatic, full transcendental truth. But Radhika's love is making me mad. I don't know how much power there is in Rad Radhika's love, that it always overwhelms me. Radhika's love is the Guru, and I am the dancing disciple. Wrong. She always makes me dance various dances. And then love is the Guru. Mm. And how said you dance either? Like love is the Guru. Love is of God. So we want to live in love. But no one to be attached. <coughs> attached for any desire. Radhika's love is the Guru and I am the dancing disciple. That's not a Krishna says. Shri Krishna thinks to himself, I am the shelter of all transcendental bliss and flavors. When my devotees taste even a drop of this bliss and relish it, and relish it, they are able to give up all other attachments, and they become totally mad. It is absolutely impossible to madden me. Secondly, also, I am the embodiment of full transcendental bliss. The whole world becomes mad from even a single drop of the ocean of my bliss. It is therefore impossible for anyone to make me happy. Thirdly, I am the full transcendental truth. The blissful experience of Krishna consciousness fulfills their desires, fills the desires of the whole world. No one is able to cover over my knowledge and drive me mad. But Sri Radhika's love is making the impossible possible. Not only can she madden me, her love is my guru, who makes my, me dance various dances like a dancing pupil. Srila Viswanatha Chakravarti writes the following comment here. Sri Radha's love makes me dance various dances. This means 
that although I am all powerful, the power of Radha's love makes me hide in a corner, a corner of her courtyard, out of fear of her mother in law, Shatira. And although I am the embodiment of bliss, I sometimes look down the road for Radha to come, being overwhelmed by desires for her blissful love. And although I am the embodiment of truth, I sometimes may disguise myself for the sake of meeting her. And although I am the eternal embodiment of knowledge, I sometimes embrace a vine, mistaking it to be her. All these things I do because I offer great love for me. I am the embodiment of power, but Radhika's, Radha's love makes me powerless. I'm the embodiment of bliss, but Radha's love makes me become overwhelmed by desire for her. I'm the embodiment of truth, but sometimes I put on disguises to be with her. I'm the embodiment of knowledge, but sometimes I embrace the vine, thinking that it's her I'm so in love with. All these things I do because of her great love for me. Addressing the omelette, Tulasi says, O oh, Angada, surely you will take care that the matchless body of the one who wears you will be given to someone. Anga means body, and da means giver. Angada, thus giver of the body. Surely you will take care that the matchless body of the one who wears you will be given to someone. I have put this Angada called Hari Rangara, the lighter of Hari, on your arms. And if I don't, then the meaning of the word Angada, giver of the body, will be reversed and will mean he who severs the body, who cuts the body. Da, da to Chedanata, Lanarata, the verbal root da means cutting. Through this interpretation, your fault will be publicly announced. Tulasi tells Swamini, I have placed the Hari Rangada Angada on your arm. Dance once with Shyama Sundara while waving your arms and sing sweetly. Your maidservant will be so fortunate to see you. Shyama will be a good Dohara for you. That day, you will place your lovely arms on his shoulder and embrace him. Your arms will be studded with goose pimples when you embrace each other. You will have given it to him exactly the way he wanted it. Your arm will be attended to by Shyama's shoulder. Hence, I call this Angara, Harirangara. How much wonderful happiness will that be to Shyam? Tulasi intoxicates Swamini by reminding her of all these bygone pastimes. When Tulasi said all this, Swamini said, All right, you put them on. Sri Lalashuka has said, O oh Lord, the Gopikas know the sweetness of your restless glances, your luscious words, your grave yet playfully beautiful walk, your tight embrace, and your eager and frantic smile. The gopis are experienced. Therefore, the practicing devotees should accept the mood of the gopis. The maid servant of Radha understand everything, but someone who is in mundane consciousness cannot understand. Therefore, Sri Naratomas Dastapura prays, I will become absorbed in this as a female companion of the Sakis. We must follow in the footsteps of Rupa and Tulasi Mantari. When the transcendental vision thus vanishes, 
Sri Raghunath loudly laments and prays for devotional service with utmost eagerness. When will I put jeweled armlets on your arms? Then Sri Rasika Chandra Dasa sings, Your arms are like beautiful lotus stems. And when Krishna's swan-like mind sees them, he will never stay calm. O oh, tender girl, when can I blissfully and humbly decorate these arms, which nicely shaped, golden, jewel-studded armlets? Or, O Devi, if you want any other dress, then just order me and I will quickly adorn you with that. This completes the commentary of verse 32. Shri Dilapa Kusinta. Radhira. 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 Radhira.